up between the Kane University Cougars as they take on the uh, Scarlet Raiders from uh, Rutgers, Newark. The uh, Cougars finished up the season. The uh, second team in the uh, South Division actually finished with a 5-8 and eight record, uh, which was identical to Rowan University, the tie for second place with, with the uh, tiebreaker. The Cougars get the number two seed in the tournament. Richard Stockton, the uh, number one team in the South with a record of 12-1. and one. In the North, this uh, Rutgers Newark team finished at 7-6, and six, also in a tie with uh, Ramapo, but with the tiebreaker, Ramapo got the number two spot, and the uh, Scarlet Raiders, the uh, number three, William Patterson, overall number one team at 11-3 and three in uh, the uh, regular season to win the North Crown. We are set to go, and the Cougars will win the uh, opening tip. As I mentioned, opening round game here. Winner will take on uh, William Patterson. That is, it is the number two seed from the South the Cougars against the number three seed from the North. Ball on the floor, and Cougars able to keep possession. The shot clock is winding its way down to uh, 10 seconds. Michael Burton will pull up for the jumper, and it won't go. And uh, Rutgers Newark will come away with the basketball. These two teams met once during the regular season with uh, Rutgers defeating the uh, Cougars in that uh, regular season matchup. And that's going to be an offensive foul call on Rutgers. <coughs> Mark Mormon is uh, called for the foul. Rutgers defeated the uh, Cougars 73-66. That game was played here back on the 21st of January. And he pace loses control, and it's uh, knocked out of bounds. It was out of bounds last touched by Aldon Mohammed of uh, Rutgers. And we'll have the, uh, the uh, shot clock uh, readjusted to uh, 19 seconds. Fourth Cougars. <coughs> Opening couple minutes of play here. So far, neither team able to score. Cougars go with uh, Shaughnessy, who has the basketball now. That's uh, Burton. Shot clock is down to five. Gipton's going to have to uh, get it up there toward the hoop and does. Missed the shot. Here comes Moore for Rutgers. The Cougars have Shaughnessy and Burton. Pace. Gibson. And Latour, that's an open three-pointer. That was too easy. Shot up there by uh, Aldon Mohammed. Hits the uh, three-pointer to get things started. Mohammed averaging 10 and a half points. That's third on this uh, Rutgers roster. Jenny Pace has to kick it outside. At Shaughnessy, shot clock is down to five. Again, it's Gibson, and Gibson loses control. Here comes Moore out of the backcourt for Rutgers. That pass knocked away by Gibson. Looks like Gibson caught a uh, elbow in the face there by uh, Pedro Burgos, an inadvertent elbow. Now the uh, official will go and uh, talk again at the uh, scores table, but the uh, shot clock is at uh, 23, and that's exactly where they'll leave it. At the foul line, tough shot up there, won't fall. Rebound is uh, on the floor, and it's uh, tied up. Possession arrow pointing toward uh, Rutgers. They will uh, get the basketball, and they're going to only have three seconds left on the shot clock. Coach uh, 
Joe Logren is uh, asking about whether this uh, shot clock should be reset because the uh, ball uh, shot went up. And they're not sure now if the uh, ball had uh, hit the rim, and I believe it did. I believe the shot went up and uh, hit the iron, so the uh, shot clock should have uh, been reset. Looks like they're going to leave it right there, three seconds. So Rutgers will have to shoot the ball in a hurry here. They will get the shot off. It won't go. And the rebound pulled down. And it's no good. So the score stays at 3-0 Rutgers. So far, the Cougars have not been able to get off a good shot at all. Two shots they've gotten up have been inside five seconds on the shot clock. And they'd had to force it up. And again, we're inside of 10 seconds. Burton looks for room. Gibson again will shoot from the corner. Won't go. Latour got the rebound. That one won't go. And knocked out of bounds. We'll, we'll go to the uh, Cougars. Got a substitution coming in. Christian Garcia checks into the game. Garcia replaces uh, Mark Mormon for Rutgers. Shaughnessy looking to inbound, gets it in to Burton, who's way outside. So, so far, the Cougar offense not able to get on track. We're just four minutes in to this game. Cougars still looking for their first basket. Gibson is open for three. That one goes in and out. Latour tried to tap it up. It wouldn't go. So here come the Scarlet Raiders. Open shot from the baseline is good by Christian Garcia, who's just in off the bench for the Scarlet Raiders. 5-0. Rutgers on top. Four and a half minutes into this first half. Burton heads toward the bucket and hits. So Gibson gets the Cougars on the board. 5-2. That one bounced off of uh, Kenny Pace and goes out of bounds. And again, we're going to have a, a discussion about the uh, shot clock, which is at 17. It had reset. But uh, the uh, Scarlet Raiders did not lose possession. And once again, it went back up to uh, 35. So it looks like we're going to have a few problems here with the uh, shot clock as the clock was at 17. And they put it back to 17 again. Al Don Mohammed will uh, inbound the ball from the baseline. We'll keep an eye on that clock so make sure everything is okay with that. Quick inbounds pass. <coughs> Somehow Rivers able to shake free. Five-point advantage for Rutgers. Fresh five getting ready to come in for the Cougars. Get it down low. Latour, oh, that's a nice backhander there by Kyle Latour. Going to use that basket to his advantage. Block off the defenders. Three point advantage for Rutgers. 
Scarlet Raiders moving the ball around very well against this zone defense of the Cougars, but not that time as the Cougars knock it away, and Shaughnessy comes away with it. 14 minutes to play here in the first half. Opening round of the New Jersey Athletic Conference men's basketball tournament. The winner of the tournament gets an automatic bid into the Division Three. NCAA National Championship. So a lot at stake here. Shot clock is down to five. Shaughnessy throws it up in the lane and hits. Mike Shaughnessy's first field goal. Three Cougars have scored. Burton, Shaughnessy, and Latour. And the Cougars trailing by one point. That's an open three. So Burgess. First field goal for Burgess. 10-6 advantage for Rutgers. And Gibson. Looking to set up the play. Again, we go inside of 10 seconds on the shot clock. Nice pick and roll there. And it's Latour drives and hits, and he's fouled. So the patience of the Cougars on offense. And they get the goal, and Latour will attempt to complete the three-point play. Xavier Fuller, Lee Keenan, Ryan Duffy, and Brenly Cadet are in for the Cougars. Latour hits the foul shot. He's got five points, and Andrew Keery will replace him in the Cougar lineup. So the Cougars down by one. 10-9. Had a little trouble getting the offense going, but now they have managed to uh, get the ball moving and into the basket. But the offensive rebound right there by Garcia gives the Scarlet Raiders a three-point advantage as we approach the 12-minute mark here in the first half. Fuller's way outside. This is Ryan Duffy, Andrew Keery, and Brandley Cadet. Tried to go back door to Keenan. Has to kick it out to uh, Duffy. Cougar's going to have to shoot the basketball. Keery for three. Then it goes in and out as the shot clock went off. Back the other way comes Rutgers. Pass in the lane there, and that's going to be a kicking violation against the Cougars. Scarlet Raiders will inbound. Raiders finished with a 14 and 11 regular season record. That was too easy. That inbounds pass to Rivers right in the middle of the lane. Five point advantage for Rutgers. Cougars. Finished the regular season 6-19 and 19 overall. But again, that all goes out the window here. You get a uh, victory uh, in the NJAC uh, tournament. You go all the way. You get an automatic bid despite uh, what your record would be through the regular season. Mark Mormon returns to the lineup, replacing Jeremiah Rivers, who sits down with four. 18 seconds left on the shot clock for the Cougars. Cadet for three. It won't go. Rebound pulled down by Garcia. Scarlet Raiders try to break, but they have to slow things down just a little bit. Pass along the baseline and Christian Garcia We'll go to the line to shoot a pair. Of 
first foul shots of the game for the Scarlet Raiders. So Garcia hits a pair. He has six points, averaging 10.8. Points per ball game. 16-9. Cougars trail. Going to get a uh, holding foul away from the ball. Aldon Mohammed uh, holding. Got a substitution coming in. Burgess goes out. Gary looking for a cutter. Duffy. Looks badly on that one. Somehow Keenan comes away with the ball. Couldn't hit from... Down low, Fuller, his shot is going to hit the support. Halfway through the first half. Seven-point lead for Rutgers Newark. Scarlet Raider is moving the ball well against the Cougar defense. That one kicked away by Keenan. The Rutgers will inbound from right in front of the Cougar bench. Mohammed kicks it outside. That jump shot. Won't go. Rebound by Mormon, who puts it in. That's his first field goal. Rutgers has opened up a nine-point advantage. It doubled up to Cougars here. Approach nine minutes to play here in the first half. Duffy for three. That shot won't go. Mormon comes away with a rebound for Rutgers. And that's going to be traveling called on Muhammad. Latour. Shaughnessy. And Burton come back in. Fuller, Duffy, and Cadet out of the lineup for the Cougars. That's Shaughnessy. Shot clock at 10. Good defense there by Rutgers. That fade away and won't fall. Looked like that one was going to get a nice bounce for Latour. Did not. That's a deep three. Latour with the rebound. Inside of eight to play in the first half. Nice pass in the lane. That's going to be an offensive foul on Latour. And for the Scarlet Knights are doing a good job of switching off on the uh, Cougars, getting a man in front of those cutters. 
it made it very difficult so far for the Cougar offense to get an open shot. That offensive foul on Latour. That one was knocked away by the Cougars. Mormon, his pass, I believe it was tipped away. Burton got a hand on it. Pass intended for Moore. Nine seconds left on the shot clock for the Scarlet Raiders. And it's knocked away. And Shaughnessy comes away with it. One of the Cougars, that one. Knocked out of bounds by Mormon of uh, Rutgers Newark. Shaughnessy went and bound it. Burton. And we're going to have a foul call. Uh, Burton tried to go to baseline. And almost intercepted and is on the inbound turnover by the Cougars. That fadeaway jump shot will go for Rivers. Rivers has six points. Largest lead of the game for the Scarlet Raiders as they have upped their lead into double figures at 11. Now Shaughnessy. Andrew Keery is going to force up that jump shot. Won't go. Keenan had the rebound, and Keenan fouled. So we Keenan will go to the line. Garcia is first. Cougars one for one at the foul line. That was Latour who hit the foul shot. First point for Keenan. Don Mohammed is back in the lineup. Greg Moore goes out. Keenan hits two. Nine point lead for uh, Rutgers as we're inside of six minutes to play in the first half. And Jack, tournament action, first round. Two against three, the number two team in the South, the Cougars against the number three team. Rutgers Newark. Here's a steal by Burton. He hits in his foul. Michael Burton made the steal. Hit the ball right to the hole. And draws the foul. Now Burton will attempt to complete the three pointer. And he does with Cougars. Four fourth foul line. Five and a half to play in the first half, and we get our first time out of this playoff contest. Five thirty one left here in the first half. And Rutgers Newark leads the Cougars. Twenty to fourteen.
first round action, New Jersey Athletic Conference men's basketball playoffs. The Cougars, the uh, number two seed out of the uh, South Division. Last year, the Cougars finished first in the South. This year, despite a five and eight record, getting the uh, second seed out of the South and a home game here. Just muscling his way in there was Jeremiah Rivers. Rivers with eight points. Eight point lead for Rutgers. Inside of five minutes of play, there's Latour who will hit in his foul. And once again, he'll go to the line to try to complete a three-point play. Did so earlier in the game. Mohammed commits the foul. We'll get substitution in for the Cougars as Gibson returns and Kiri goes out. We're averaging uh, just under nine points per game. He has eight here in the first half, two for two. At the foul line. Cougars trail by five. That baseline jumper by Garcia. Garcia tied with Rivers for high points with eight points for the uh, Raiders. The tour also with eight points for the Cougars. 24-17. Cougars trailed. We approach four minutes to play in the half. Shaughnessy cutting behind that screen. Kind of forced that one up and it went in. Not much you can do about that for playing defense. Off balance shot by Shaughnessy. Brings the Cougars back to within three points. Let's see, and that's going to be Shaughnessy out of bounds. As you make contact with the basketball, so Rutgers Newark will inbound. Now Don Mohammed is way outside. There's a screen right there. Shot will go up short. Fouled up, no good. Rebound pulled down by Latour. Cougars can get a little bit closer here. That's Gibson way outside. To our own nice look underneath the Burton. That was a good pass underneath from Latour. And the Cougars have closed the gap. They're now within three. Trailed by 11 at one point. Along the baseline, again, a nice move as Garcia gets open. <coughs> Garcia has 10. Five-point lead now for Rutgers. Latour. Shaughnessy flips it up and in. Makes Shaughnessy with six. Deep three. That's Moore. Greg Moore's first field goal. 
Two minutes to play in a half and a five point lead for Rutgers. They have led from the start. Tried to force that one in. And Moore came away with it. That's an open three. Won't go. Rebound tipped to the side. And a saving pass goes outside to Mohammed. Mohammed is fouled in the lane. Looks like Burton will be called for the foul. Pushing foul on Burton. That's his first. Just the third team foul on the Cougars. And so Rutgers will inbound from the baseline. And that's an illegal screen. Illegal screen called on Jeremiah Rivers. First foul on Rivers. That's the 18th foul on Rutgers. Coming up on a minute to play here in the first half. Six-point lead for Rutgers Newark. Curie's open for three. Andrew Curie's first field goal. And then he knocks that one away out of bounds. It will be Rutgers ball. Cougars trail by three. Inside of a minute to play in this first half. Way outside is Moore, and this is Mohammed. And Moore will pull up and hit. Five points for Moore. Shot clock was. Should be off, but it is still running down. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. Disappeared. Four seconds. Terry's going to have to force that one up. Fouled up there by Duffy. That did not go. So we have reached halftime here. Opening round of the... New Jersey Athletic Conference men's basketball tournament. Rutgers Newark leads the Cougars 31 26. And, and we welcome you back to Harwood Arena here on the campus of Kane University. Opening round of the New Jersey Athletic Conference men's basketball tournament. Cougars trail 31 to 26. Looking at the uh, first half statistics, Rutgers Newark on fire. 51% they are hitting from the field, 13 for 22. They're 3 for 7 from behind the arc. The Cougars aren't shooting that bad. They are 10 for 24 at 41%, but they have only hit 1 of 8 from behind the arc. They are 5 for 5 from the foul line. And uh, Rutgers Newark is uh, 2 for 2. Cougars are going to inbound to uh, start the uh, second half here. The winner uh, will uh, move on. They'll take on uh, William Patterson this coming Wednesday night in the semifinal round. <coughs> and that's going to be a held ball. This is how the uh, first half started out. Tough defense by the Scarlet Raiders. But they tie up Shaughnessy and get the uh, basketball back. Johnson didn't miss a shot in the first half. He was three for three. The tour was three for five. Shooting for the Cougars. That jump shot won't go. Rebound is loose and the tour came away with it for the Cougars. Set the lineup for you with Shaughnessy, 
and Kenny Pace. They started the ball again. That's Burton with the basketball. Gibson and Latour are out there as well. Shot clock inside of 10. And the ball is uh, kicked there by Burgess. Christian Garcia led uh, all scores with 10 in the first half. Now this is Gibson to the baseline. Shot won't go. That's Latour who uh, hit the deck. Charlotte Raiders try to break. The Cougars are able to get back on defense. Gibson almost knocked it away. Shot clock at 10. Nice move along the baseline there by Rivers. Who will go to the line to shoot a pair for Rutgers. Scarlet Raiders with 14 wins during the regular season. And seven of those came in the New Jersey Athletic Conference. That is the first miss from the foul line for either team. Cougars were five for five, and Newark was uh, two for two. Rivers hits the second. He has nine points. The largest lead of the game was 11 by Rutgers. They, that was with 6.44 to go in the half. Cougars have not had a lead in this game, and now they trail it. By six, as Gibson. Goes has very patient on offense. Shot clock inside of 10. Burton gets a step on the baseline and throws it home. Burton with nine points. He's now four for five from the field. It was trailing it by four points. Ball kicked out of bounds. They're in front of the Scarlet Raider bench. Thinking about that shot was Moore. This time Moore will pull the trigger and hit the three-pointer. Eight points for Moore. That's his second three-pointer. There's the uh, zone press there in the backcourt by the Scarlet Raiders. Way outside to Latour. Three minutes in to the second half. Shaughnessy's cut off in the lane. Gibson, shot clock is down to two. Shaughnessy's going to have to hoist that one up. Won't go. Rebound knocked out of bounds by Pace. So the Raiders won the foul on Pace. We'll knock that ball out of bounds. Coach still having a discussion with Brian Scipio along that sideline in front of the Scarlet Raider bench. That's a three-pointer that won't go. <coughs> and another foul called. Fouls on the Raiders. Nope. Latour and Mormon were called for a double foul. So a double foul call. That must be possession now. It points the Cougars' way. So the Cougars will have the ball. Brentley Cadet, Andrew Keery, Ryan Duffy, 
Lee Keenan and Xavier Fuller. The lineup now for the Cougars. And a 10 second violation called <coughs> on the Cougars. Did not move the ball across the midcourt stripe in 10 seconds. Four minutes in the second half. Seven point lead for Rutgers. And driving in there and missing from in close was Mormon. Cadet comes out of there with the basketball for the Cougars. Keenan a deep three. And Keenan got the rebound. Keenan. Now Cadet. Tried to feed it down low. Almost knocked away. Duffy. Went to jump shot that won't go. Scarlet Raiders will break the other way. Kiri knocked it away. Here comes Cadet. Five minutes gone by in the second half. Good pass down low to Keenan. And the Scarlet Raiders are going to call a timeout. 14-40 left here in the second half. 35-28, Cougars are trailing by seven. Forty to play. Cougars trail by seven. We'll be back here on Tuesday night for women's basketball action. It'll be semifinals of the uh, NJAC tournament. <coughs> the Cougars will take on the winner of Montclair State and Richard Stockton. That'll be at uh, seven o'clock here at Harwood Arena on Tuesday. Play back in with the uh, Scarlet Raiders. Up by seven, and we're going to get uh, Fuller called for a uh, pushing foul. First foul on Fuller. Scarlet Raiders will inbound from the baseline. Driving shot there will go in and a foul. Now Don uh, Mohammed hitting the shot. Foul shot there by Mohammed. He has six points. Lead back up to nine points. Check that now, it's 10 with the foul shot. Coming up on 14 minutes to play. Shot clock inside at 10. Keenan will put up the jump shot and hit it. Well, Keenan 
hit for the Cougars. Cougars call a uh, timeout. And it will be a 30-second timeout called by the Cougars. Michael Burton leading the uh, Cougars in scoring this game with nine points. Kyle Latour has eight. High point man in the game is uh, Christian Garcia who scored ten points in the first half for the uh, Scarlet uh, Raiders. Cougars down by eight points. Jump shot there is good by Burgos. That's his second field goal. He has five points. Lead is at 10. And you see that uh, zone defense is giving the Cougars all kinds of trouble here. And so what they try to do is just make them use up a lot of time in that back court, give them less time to set up the offense. Shaughnessy, a tough shot. Getting inside. He has eight points. That baseline jumper missed badly. Burton. Cougars are Setting a lot of screens away from the ball. The Scarlet Raiders are calling for a uh, foul called against the uh, Cougars for illegal screens. And Shaughnessy lost control. Go out of bounds. And Cougars will keep possession with just six seconds left on the shot clock. Jeremiah Rivers back in the game. Mormon goes out. So just six, six seconds for the Cougars to shoot. They get it in bounds. Burton had a shot rejected by Mohammed. And nobody there. Not sure if uh, Mohammed thought the referee was on his team. Referee was the only one who was standing there as he watched that ball go out of bounds. So the turnover gives it back to the Cougars inside of 12 left to play. Eight point deficit uh, for the Cougars. Nice backdoor play there. And Cadet got open. And the lead back down to six. Plenty of time left here. 11 and a half left in the game. Burgess had it knocked away. Here comes Burton on the drive. Burton with 11. And now it's a uh, four point lead, and the Scarlet Raiders are going to call for a timeout. Every time the uh, Raiders uh, seem to get away a little bit, get that lead up to uh, double digits, Cougars able to come back. Cougars trail by four with 11.03 to play.
Last time these two teams met back on the 21st of January. Right here at Harwood Arena. Rutgers Newark defeating the uh, Cougars 73 to 66. <clears throat> here we're in the uh, NJAC playoffs. And Rutgers leads it by four. Number two seed out of the South the Cougars. Number three seed from the North, Rutgers. And that's going to be a traveling. Now Don Mohammed lost control and, and shuffled his feet there. And so Cougars will take possession. Shaughnessy inbounds it at midcourt. Working it against Garcia. Burton tried to loop that pass to Latour. It was uh, knocked away. Here comes Mohammed, leads it off. Shot would not go for Garcia. Kiri Burton this time will get it to Latour, who is fouled. Christian Garcia whistled for the foul. So Latour, it was two for two at the foul line. Nine points now for Latour. Now the lead is down to only two. Gets it in in the corner. That's going to be a traveling call. Good. Have a chance to tie or go ahead. In the forecourt to Latour. Shot clock at 10. That one won't go. Now here are the Raiders. We approach nine minutes to play along the baseline. Mohammed for three. Won't go. That'll be an over-the-back foul call on Jeremiah Rivers. Pedro Burgos returns to the lineup for the Scarlet Raiders. Get out to Burton. Now Shaughnessy comes outside to get it. Latour. That was for the lead. It won't go. And it looks like we're going to get another foul called on uh, Jeremiah Rivers. Uh, the 
Cougars again with an opportunity to tie or take the lead. And Shaughnessy turns and calls a timeout as he couldn't find anyone open. 8.28 left in the second half. Cougars only down by two. Bound it from the baseline with 8.28 to play. Trailing by two here in the opening round of the New Jersey Athletic Conference basketball tournament. Winner of this tournament receives an automatic bid into the Division Three National Championship. Again, a very patient offense by the Cougars. Down down to 10 seconds on the shot clock. And that's going to be a pushing foul call on Greg Moore. Team foul situation now. Rutgers Newark has committed five. Cougars have four. Almost threw it away there. This is for the lead. Won't go. The Rutgers is led by as many as eight. They have not trailed here this afternoon. That's an open three. Won't go. Rebound is saved outside to Mohammed. Coming in the lane, and suddenly this Rutgers team can't buy a basket. They shot 59% from the field in the first half. Here in the second half, they put nine points on the board for 13 minutes. Down low to Latour. Latour kicks it outside. And Shaughnessy not able to get a shot off. Shot clock inside of 10 once again. Shaughnessy on the drive and hits it. And we're tied up at 40. Shaughnessy has 10 points. And we are tied up for the first time since the opening tip-off. Rutgers has had lead. All the way, that's a three-pointer. Uh, Moore hits his third three-pointer. He has 11 points. Puts the Scarlet Raiders right back on top. Coming up on six minutes to play. Sean C has got the... The hot hand for the Cougars. Cadet ties us up again. Cadet with five. Ties us up at 43. Mohammed uses that screen. Oh, that's a tough shot. That <laughs> would not fall. And the Cougars can take their first lead of the game. Approaching five minutes. And we have a foul called.
It's a hold away from the ball. Looked like it was on now Don Muhammad. That's a second on uh, Muhammad. 16 fouls now. Ah. Uh, Rutgers, Cougars have committed four. Cadet will loop that one out. That was a dangerous pass there. Keery. Cadet gets it to the baseline. And that's going to send Burton to the line to shoot one and one. As a blocking foul called. So Burton, Mormon picks up his third. Burton can give the Cougars a lead for the first time this afternoon. And he hits it. First lead of the afternoon for the Cougars. They had trailed by as many as 11. This is the second. 12 points for Michael Burton. Cougars with a 44-43 lead. Fans wanted to carry, which it was not. That's an open three. Burgess, his second three-pointer. 46-44. Rutgers back on top by two. Down low to Latour. Latour needs to shoot the ball. He does and hits. A dozen points for Kyle Latour. And we're tied at 46 with 4-1 to play in regulation time. One to play in regulation time here at Harwood Arena on the campus of Kane University. Opening round of the New Jersey Athletic Conference men's basketball tournament. The number two seed out of the south, the Kane University Cougars hosting number three seed from the north, Rutgers Newark. Tied up at 46. The winner of this game will play Wednesday night, February 22nd at William Patterson. William Patterson, the uh, number one team in the uh, north, finished the regular season at 11 and 2. The other game going on this afternoon, Rowan taking on Ramapo. The other uh, opening round contest. So we're inside of four minutes of play in regulation time, tied at 46. In the lane, that shot up and good by Garcia. Garcia scored 12 points, uh, scored 10 points in the first half. That's his first bucket of the second. And the Cougars are going to call for timeout as uh, Rob Krasinski, yes, thought sort of his team was very close to a violation. A backcourt violation. They've been whistled for one this afternoon. So the Cougars will have it to inbound. With three minutes and 29 seconds left to play in regulation time. 
Kyle Latour has 12 points. Along with uh, Michael Burton to uh, lead the uh, Cougars in scoring. Christian Garcia has 12 points for Rutgers. Cougars will uh, inbound it with uh, Shaughnessy. Near midcourt. Looking to double team there. I'll get it out to Cadet. Cadet hit for three. That's his second three pointer. He has eight points. Cougars regain the lead. Eight by one. That's a three-pointer. That is good by Burgos. He has 11. His third three-pointer. Two-point lead. For Rutgers. There's Latour. Bikes it and he's fouled. Latour ties it up at 51. Mormon picks up his fourth. And Latour can put the Cougars right back on top. He is four for four at the foul line. And it goes in and out, so we remain tied. At 51. Coming up on two and a half to play. Mohammed gets into the lane, has his shot blocked. Coming up on two minutes to play in regulation time. Cougars look to go back on top with a field goal here. Shot clock is down to seven. Cadet misses a shot. Mohamed a rebound. And the Scarlet Raiders have called for a timeout. With 153 to play in regulation time. Tied up at 51. One minute, 53 seconds left in regulation time here at Harwood Arena on the campus of Kane University. The Cougars and the Scarlet Raiders from Rutgers Newark opening round game of the New Jersey Athletic Conference men's basketball tournament. We'll have the semifinal round of the women's tournament on Tuesday as the Cougars get a bye in the first round. And if they're winning the uh, South Division, that rebound is uh, knocked out of bounds. Goal we'll, we'll go to uh, Rutgers. The 
Greg Moore will uh, inbound it. Nice pass down low. Garcia got free. He has 14 points. That's Burton. Coming up on a minute to play. And Shaughnessy. Burton. Shot clock at five. Cadet throws it up and it's called for an offensive foul. Fifty three seconds. Now Rutgers will have to shoot the basketball. No need for a foul here by the Cougars. They'll have plenty of time left on that uh, clock. If they can get a stop here. Shot clock now at 10. Three-pointer won't go. Chase down in the corner. Almost thrown away. 15 seconds, and the Cougars will call timeout with 12.9 seconds left in regulation time. The Cougars will have the basketball with a chance to tie with a two-pointer and win it with a three. Point nine seconds left on the clock here in regulation time. Cougars trail by two points. And huddle around their uh, coach Rob Krasinski as they will uh, set up the play here and try to force this game into overtime. Shaughnessy is going to inbound. They have Shaughnessy. Cadet, Kiri, Latour out there. And now uh, Rutgers will call timeout. They want to get a look at who is going to be out on the floor for the Cougars before uh, drawing up the uh, play there. So we'll see if Rob Krasinski changes up anything as far as the lineup is concerned. It looks like uh, it will be Shaughnessy who will come over to uh, throw in the basketball here at side court. You have uh, Cadet, Keary, Burton, and Latour out there for the Cougars as they uh, line up there. Look for a uh, cutter to uh, head toward the hole. A lot of time here with 12 
seconds left. And Shaughnessy will go back into the backcourt. Shaughnessy's open for three. The winner's good! Shaughnessy hits the three-pointer. 1.1 second left on the clock. The Cougars are up by one. So Mike Shaughnessy hits the three pointer. That gives him 13 points. And the Scarlet Raiders are going to have to advance the ball the entire length of the floor. And 1.1 seconds left. <coughs> so Shaughnessy hits what right now is the biggest shot of the season for the Cougars. They have added some time on the clock. It's now 2.4 seconds left. So the Raiders, who have led through most of this game, the second half has been a uh, back and forth affair. We'll see what they're going to do here. I don't know if they would have the uh, another uh, timeout here. The Cougars are going to put some pressure on it in the backcourt. Rivers is going to inbound. Throws it down the floor. And Latour has it. And the Cougars will win it. And I'm not sure why the... Uh, Clock stopped. I guess we do have a foul called. Foul was called with .7 seconds left on the clock. Latour will be at the line. The Cougars with a 54-53 lead. <coughs> All Latour has to do is all the tour has to do is miss this, and the game is over. They're gonna, they're gonna put a uh, one second left on the clock. So the tour, if he just misses this shot, the game is over. He hits the uh, first one. That gives him 15 points. And if, if he makes this, it'll make it a lot easier for this Rutgers team. And the uh, time will go off the clock as uh, he misses the uh, foul shot. Rutgers will have the ball to inbound it from the baseline. So now they're going to have to... Throw this ball the length of the floor. And they have reset the clock now to <coughs> eight tenths of a second. Scarlet Raiders are still in their huddle. Not much they're going to be able to do here. But uh, hoist this thing all the way down the floor. So here we go. Rivers inbounds it to half court. And that is it. The Cougars who trail by 11 points at one point in this contest come back. On a three-point shot with two seconds left by Mike Shaughnessy. And the Cougars advance 
in the New Jersey Athletic Conference tournament. They'll take on William Patterson Wednesday night at 7 o'clock at William Patterson. Rutgers ends their season at 14 and 12. Cougars continue. They're now 7 and 19. Back here on Tuesday night for women's basketball action, the Cougars will take on the uh, winner of uh, Montclair State and Richard Stockton in the semifinals of the women's tournament. Once again, our final, the Kane Cougars 55, Rutgers Newark 53. From Harwood Arena, so long, everybody.